Hi, and welcome to week 18 of your history. So this week, we'll delve into key aspects of U.S. history during the late 1800s, the 19th century, from immigration patterns to changes in daily life, cultural movements, and the emergence of the sports industry as a major force. So we're going to begin by comparing the new immigrants of the late 19th century to earlier waves. In the, light, in the late 19th century, a new wave of immigrants, primarily from Southern and Eastern Europe, arrived in the United States. Unlike earlier immigrants who mainly hailed from Northern and Western Europe, these new quote unquote immigrants faced distinct challenges such as language barriers, cultural differences, and often settled in urban areas. While early, early, earlier immigrants had primarily been Protestant, that is the Christian denomination, the new immigrants were often Catholic or Jewish. This demographic uh, shift contributed to the multicultural fabric of American society, but it also led to tensions and nativist, nativist sentiments. The influx, the, the influx of new immigrants significantly influenced the cultural and demographic landscape of the United States during this period. So moving forward, we're going to explore how technology, new types of stores, and marketing changed American standard of living. The late 1800s witnessed a technological revolution, with innovations such as the telegraph, telephone, and the railroad transforming communication and transportation. This era also saw the rise of department stores, offering a wide array of goods under one roof, and the advent of new marketing techniques. Advertising became a powerful tool, shaping consumer preferences and encouraging mass consumption. This shift, combined with increased industrialization, led to rising standards of living for many Americans. However, it also highlighted disparities between social classes, as not everyone benefited equally from these advancements. Shifting our focus will be then to words mass culture and education in the late 1800s. So significant changes occurred in how information and inter entertainment were disseminated. The rise of newspapers, magazines, and popular literature created a shared cultural experience among Americans. Additionally, the establishment of public education systems aimed to provide a more standardized and accessible form of education. However, challenges persisted, including issues of access and quality. Mass culture and education became powerful tools for shaping societal norms and values, contributing to the formation of a more cohesive national identity. As we move forward, we'll also be exploring some new popular cultural movements that, are, that uh, arose. This period witnessed the emergence of various artistic and intellectual movements, such as the realist and naturalist literary movements, which sought to depict everyday life in a more authentic and unidealized manner. Social and political movements, including the women's suffrage movement, that is the voting movement, also gained momentum during this time, challenging traditional norms and advocating for change. Additionally, the late 1800s saw the beginnings of popular entertainment forms, including vaudeville shows and amusement parks reflecting a shift in leisure activities and cultural tastes. Finally, we're going to turn our attention to the sports industry. So the emergence of sports as a major force in American society, uh, baseball in particular, uh, towards the, the late 19th century, gained immense popularity, becoming known as the national pastime. The formation of professional baseball leagues and the rise of sports journalism contributed to the growth of organized sports. This period laid the foundation for the modern sports industry, influencing not only leisure activities, but also contributing to the development of a distinct American sports culture. So I hope that this was preview was sufficient for this week. I look forward to seeing you and working with you all. Thank you.